One could catch big boy action at Cheyenne Yards on almost any day. Here, engine 4003 gingerly steps through the myriad of tracks. Engine 4003 was next caught on the Harriman cutoff ascending Sherman Hill. A typical big boy is capable of consuming 20 tons of coal per hour. Most of these engines were placed in service beginning in 1941. Now, 4003 is on double track, just past Dale Junction. The articulated is almost to the summit of Sherman Hill. Back at Cheyenne, number 4013 slowly pulls through the yard and passes under the Colorado and Southern Bridge. Stock cars fill up the head end of the train. Tom Strid will get off after his incredible cab ride. Out on the prairie again, the 4013 smokes up the countryside. A great deal of scenery changes occur during the run from Cheyenne to Laramie. In the next few scenes, enjoy the 4013 as she displays an impressive pageantry of smoke and power. And finally, the 4013 pulls into the yards at Laramie. In the late 50s, one could travel a goodly part of the UP and witness steam at its finest. Alas, these days are gone forever. Number 4017, built by Alco in December of 1941, was moved to the National Railroad Museum under diesel power. Here we see it crossing the bridge over the Fox River. The 772,000 pound weight must have been a strain on the bridge. That's a Milwaukee Road Fairbanks Morse H1644 shoving the big boy across the bridge. The Ann Arbor 